I'm a little scared for this video, I'm not gonna lie. Today we are attempting, attempting to read for 24 hours straight. I have never read more than a few hours at a time. It's always been super leisurely too. So I'm also excited to see like how I'm gonna be because fun facts, when I'm tired, I'm super unhinged. Like I'm just, I get delirious I think when I'm tired. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm sorry if you're gonna see a new side of me. The last time I've had to stay up for 24 hours for something was like a final freshman year in college and I was absolutely insane and that's been a minute ago so kind of scared but i think we're gonna do really well i'm starting off with the love hypothesis i'm already like maybe a fourth in, maybe a little less than a fourth it's from my tbr list from my last book vlog i can link that up here if you haven't seen it already but so far this is my favorite book out of the list so i'm like all right i'm starting off pretty strong here i'm starting off with a book i really want to read anyway so i think this is going to be good i also want to finish the last three books that are in my tbr list if i can do that within this 24 hours i'll feel really proud of myself this book if you haven't already read it it's about this PhD student. Her name is Olive and I think that's such a cute name. She is currently in a little predicament because she kissed her professor because she wanted her best friend to be able to date some guy that she used to date and her best friend just didn't feel comfortable but she really hit it off with her ex-boyfriend. So this was like Olive's way of trying to like let her know that she's over him but she just kissed someone randomly and that random person just happened to be a professor at her college, at her university. So it's kind of just unpacking all of that and it's so good. I love the writing. I love the character personalities and like the exchanges between the two. It's so cute, it's just so cute. So we're gonna start with that. I think I'm gonna check in like the first hour just to see how we're doing. It is currently 9.05 and I'm about to put my timer on. And I've taken extreme measures, by the way, to make sure this is a success. I took off the sheets off my bed because well, one, I had to wash them. And also, I know I'm gonna read in my bed, but I don't like reading or I don't like going to sleep without like a blanket or something. So if my blankets aren't there, baby ain't going to sleep. You see where I'm coming from? You see the thought process? Also, I'm gonna put on headphones and play music really loudly in Japanese because I'm learning Japanese. And I don't know all the words, so it's not like I'm gonna get distracted by the things that I'm listening to, but it's also gonna keep me awake. Number two. Number three, I am drinking my favorite coffee right now. So I feel like, where can we go wrong? Also, we're starting late, so I'm gonna get through the hard part now. You see, you see how I've thought about this? You're welcome. I guess the only thing that's left to do is to actually get to it. I'm gonna put on a hoodie and just jam out real quick, and I guess we can start. We are an hour in and honestly this was the best book to start with because it's just so good like the interaction between the doctor and Olive is just so adorable and I just love her personality and how she's like fighting her feelings so so far so good it didn't even feel like an hour honestly but this is around the time that I go to bed it's what 10 o'clock now 10:23. And now I'm starting to feel tired, so I'm just trying to stretch a little bit and get back to it. Okay, I finally finished The Love Hypothesis. It was very cute. I would rate it a eight and a half out of 10. Only because like you knew what was gonna happen. 
but it didn't bother me. Like it was still so cute. I was like, all right, this is fine. But I also didn't like that some of the lines were so cliche and like cringy, like unrealistic. You know what I mean? Like some of them, I was just like, don't nobody talk like this. It was very annoying at some points, but very rarely too. Like the story was too cute to really be annoyed by it. So I really enjoyed this. We are currently six and a half hours in. It took me six and a half hours to read that. That's insane. I must be really slow or tired. I don't know. I can't really tell yet. Um, it is four o'clock in the morning. It is 3.56. For those that don't believe me, let me show you. It is 3.56 in the morning. Yay. <laughs> I need to go find another book. All right, I found my second book. It is The Midnight Library. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm very excited. And it's a little bit smaller than the last one, which I'm happy about because I felt like it took me a little too long to read that, and I'm kind of like annoyed by that, so I wanna see if I can read this a little bit faster. It is 4 a.m., and we are starting at six hours and 42 minutes. All right, let's do this thing. past few hours have been really tough like i'm up i'm awake <laughs> but i can't like read we're 11 hours in I, it's just taking me so long to read i don't know if it's the storyline or the sleep deprivation but i'm like oh my god I'm, it's taking me forever i'm 100 pages in after all those hours i started i started it what, four hours ago? That's insane. I'm only 100 pages in, I should be done. So I'm thinking it's the sleep deprivation. I just made myself a cup of coffee here. Ow, that's hot. I made a bowl of fruit. Never in my life have I spent four hours to read 100 pages. When will it end? Okay. See y'all in a few hours, I guess. Hmm. I am embarrassed. Embarrassed to say how long that took me to read. I've heard so much good stuff about this book and it just was not that great for me. It just dragged on and it was, I think if I had read this first, it would have been something I liked a little bit more, but one page would take me forever. I've never taken this long to read something. It's already two o'clock and I've been doing this for 16 hours. We're almost there. Oh, why did I decide to do this? This book wasn't entirely terrible. I just feel like it wasn't a 24 hour readathon kind of book material. I would give it a solid 7 out of 10. There were some good life lessons in it, but it wasn't enough to be profound. Like, it wasn't enough, in my personal opinion, to be like, wow, I would even read that again. Like, the premise and the idea was kind of cool of her trying different lives. 
but it got repetitive so fast. We already know the conclusion she's gonna get. Her perfect life is the one she's currently living. Like, I figured that out halfway through the book. And then like the way it ended, like the way she got out of the midnight library, I thought that was a little cliche too. Maybe I'm being too hard on it because I'm sleep deprived and it took me a long time to read so I'm a little annoyed. But like when was the plot gonna thicken, you know? It just didn't. I think I'm gonna just get a snack, come back in five, and then we'll start. Song of Achilles! Uh, day of my entire life. We have less than an hour left. It is currently 8.23. I am halfway through The Song of Achilles and I can already tell this book is gonna break my heart. Like I'm already in love with the characters and I'm at the part where they finally found Achilles and he like when he was dressed as a woman they're bringing him to fight the war and they're saying that he's gonna die in the war and just the love that they have for each other. I already know this book is gonna F me up. I already know and yet here I am, excited to get my heart broken. So let's finish this strong and we'll talk about all the books when I'm officially done with the challenge. We freaking did it, guys. We did it. We did it, Joe. We did it. 24 hours of reading. I'm gonna take this off and we can talk about the books. We did it guys, clap it up for 24 hours. Ugh, I'm not gonna lie. It sounds cute, but that was really hard. I was so sleep deprived. From like six to 8 a.m. was the worst, I think of it. I didn't get to finish Song of Achilles, but I'm halfway through and y'all, I can already tell this is gonna F me up. It is so good. The type of love I'm looking for, okay? If you're not willing to just, <laughs> for me, <laughs> I don't want it. And just the selflessness. And it's just so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And like the just finality of it and the fact that they can't have each other. Of course, I don't know how it ends yet. Hopefully there's like some type of change or something. I doubt it. When books are this good, usually they just get you right in the heart, you know? They just rip your heart out, make you love the characters and just take them away from you. So I'm prepared, but this was so good. I haven't finished it yet, but I think I'm gonna rate it a five out of five or 10 out of 10. Really loved this book. It was very cute. Very cliche though, I'm not gonna lie. And some of the writing was so cringy, but it was very good. And this seven out of 10 was being generous. But I had a really fun time. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I am going to take a shower and go to bed. I am exhausted. And guys, guess who's dumb behind did this on a Sunday? Um. <sighs> Like I don't have work tomorrow, so this is gonna really suck. This is gonna be terrible, but I had a lot of fun and I hope to see you in the next video.